hello welcome to peace rose tech today's video i will be teaching you how to reset or maybe customize uh, your phone and enhance the performance as well you know with this you can set as a developer uh, so if you are new to this channel please subscribe uh, like and share and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video YouTube will notify you and then you be able to grab it at first and then make the best out of the video uh, so you know uh, this phone there are so many settings that are hidden that you cannot easily see like that you cannot access to change or try to do so many stores without you knowing the right source to do it so there are so many settings here you know this your wind gate like oh, you know this icon here the app icon here like this like this you know you can change it like it will be so small or so big you see so uh, and also you can do so many stuff Partition this very phone and so many other stuff so many information like animator duration scale transition animation scale the smallest wind gate display countdown and Tap and show so many of them. So let's dive into the settings So first thing you are going to do you are going to go to your settings Yeah, this is your settings here So you are going to tap on it Oh no, you tap on it and you go all the way down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. We are going to system. Oh no, you tap on system. Look at it here. Here, yeah, this is the system. You tap on it. You see, you go all the way down and come to this. Uh, uh, and to this. developers you see the road developers option yeah this is the developers option this is what we are going to use so what you are going to use at first if you try opening it it won't just work out like that so what you are going to do is you tap on it five times five good times you tap on it tap on it you know already already on this so that's why it just opened like that so but if you are new to it you just tap on it one two three four five like five times yeah you are going to tap on it five good times so that uh it will open easily without you having any you will just be seeing the count tap like five times five to the six time it will open why they made it to be long like that because you might uh, uh, accidentally bump into it and then reset your phone in a manner that you won't be able to handle it so let's go into it so the first the, you see series of it here you see bug reports desktop backup password stay awake enable bluetooth yes here ocm running and you see so many of them here so i will just be picking like uh i say few of it that will be very very important so the first one we're going to be making use of is uh is stay awake yeah stay awake you see you see screen will never sleep while charging if you tap on this icon you will see this is the icon stay awake when charging your phone it won't sleep like it won't off it will just be on like that that's it so or uh, it's just i don't have light i would have just tried it now and then you see what i'm saying but if you tap on it you will see it so the next one you see is a automatic system update apply when device research what this one does is that it helps update your device immediately you restart it you know it's actually important to update your device to uh, meet up to your requirement like you tap on it mm. and also the next one is show tap show tap yeah show tap let me get to it oh yeah scroll down scroll down scroll down you scroll down yeah look at it 
it is under input you see uh this show tab what it does that when you turn on uh it shows you normally shows touches on your phone maybe when you are trying to touch something let's just tap on it see it's just on let me show you another thing if i tap on this icon you see it just if i tap on something now it will just show you it will just show you it will just show you like it will just show you that's it that's what it does so you can be tapping on it and be seeing all that stuff like that so but let me blow your mind with this one is it pointer like show surface of the this show layouts bounds this show layers bound what it does is that it uh, partition your screen show clip bounds margin and so on and so forth that's your skin is now transformed to a layers bound rows and column one thing i like with it is that your app plays separately beautifully <laughs> it will beautify your phone yeah it actually beautifies your phone so let's just on it you see you see your phone my phone is just partition let me just minimize and go back you see this is what i'm talking about you see how your phone how my phone is now and the one i showed you about which is a um, show tabs you see if i tap on something now you will see the it's it's showing it's showing right so this is how you can do it so let's minimize and go back there again so you see show tabs so let's just go so the next one we are going to check out is a uh, uh, pointers location okay before then let me show you another one <laughs> another beautiful one but uh, pointer location screen overlay showing current touches data yeah that's what it does you see is overlay showing current data touch data it makes your screen to be on measurement and you can play with your phone as well you see if we tap on it you see your phone is now valid. let's just minimize again you see your phone is now partition it shows you let me show you something check on this check on this check on this you see you see number shading up there is actually showing you how your uh how your phone the measurements maybe you're using this this is the measurement from here to here and so many stuff you know you can just play with it and you see my touches is actually showing like showing like circles the my drag this you will be seeing seeing this so let's just go back as we customize the phone so if you are new to this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and then share this video is actually important so that you learn new skills new tricks on your phone and so many stuff out there so uh, uh the one that i'll be will be going to is force arrow tl layout direction force arrow tl layout direction look at it here force arrow tl layout location before i tap on it let me explain to you you see this one what it does that uh it's forces yeah four screen layouts to right hand side that's inverted for all locals that's you no know, it's awesome let's just try it what it does it changes it inverts the screen of this your phone tap on it can you see you see your phone is now like you can see it's now on the on the left on the right hand side instead of the left so let's just minimize and go back uh-huh let me show you one thing before we go let me show you one thing one thing here uh, okay let me show you let's enter into library please english Okay. let me show you other stores let's just minimize i want to show you something that you might okay let me take for instance this uh this is a notepad see the notepad it's actually what it does is it's in fact and changes the very your phone 
I, it will be on the right hand instead of the left hand side so let's just disable the disable it so that we can so that i can show you other stuff uh, look at it type on it yeah you know it's back again yeah so this window animation scale what it does is that window animation scale it's actually uh shows the, the 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 measurement that's the size the size of this you see this is window animation scale so maybe when trying to uh minimize or do other stuff the the speed and other stuff let's just put it like 10 you see just be watching how the movement will go you see this is just popping up not normal if we put it at five you will see it's just going down this is how it does like oh let me just put it at that 10 again and then let's minimize to something you see let me just tap on this brief you will see for these very images to pop up it's actually it's uh, uh, it, it shows you other stuff like it's try to be slow before it opens and uh, I want to be giving you samples on how it does. So, but let's just uh, dive in more on other settings. So, let's just change it. You see, okay, yeah, let's just put it at that one. Okay, you know, it's now okay, that's fast. So, transition animation scale what it does is this transition animation scale. Let me tap on it. You see, let's just put it like 10. And then let's tap on it you see it's very fast here but if we put it like five uh you see it actually has its own work to do so the transition the transition at which the animations will move that's you see you see what i was saying okay let me just say and let's just go back you see this is for this very uh, these icons this uh, apps icon to pop up that's what it does like it tries to show you tries to show you like we also work with speed as 10 times is the lowest and 5x that's five times is the fastest when you are returning to the app background after using or coming out from an app without minimize let me say this particular app mm -hmm. you see I just minimize you see so so yeah this is it so let's uh, let me show you another one animator duration scale yeah what animation duration scale does is that when you turn on like when you turn it on it shows the duration the duration that's time taken to minimize an app go back to the app background or screen background also when you try to enter an app it determines the speed that's 10x is the slowest y 5s is the uh, fastest so let's go to it let's put 10s as the slowest so we are entering one part you see we are entering one particular let me let me use play store you see so slow um let me say i'm minimizing you see so slow but let's just go back to change it to five you see point five pegs you see let me just enter that same listing you see it's now faster compared to that one but maybe you want to off it you don't want it you can just uh, that put it out off you know it's now off so that's how you go about it so we have a uh, this uh, secondary stim simulate secondary display this simulate secondary display you can set the screen size you want as it contains dual screen upscaled like 4k 720p a thousand as 1080p dual screen at a time that's you know that's so amazing you no know, uh it's so mind-blowing like let me show you let me show you so if you tap on it you see let's just take for instance we are taking four 
or okay let's just take for this 720 you see my screen is partition now you see let me just take this uh, this 720 you see you can see my screen now you see you see you see you see you can increase it, you can do it like this, you can cut that, so I say you can do anything with it. Let me just go back. All those effects, you see what and that's why you see my phone like this. You can see, you can see, you can see, you can see it. You can do anything. So, let me go back. Let me go back here. Yeah. And then... Maybe I want to get to secure 7. This is the only one that is showing. You can leave it. So let me just leave it there. So the next one we are going to is small X with. Yeah, this one is actually good. Like maybe <laughs> you want your... What this one does is that it's used to increase or reduce the size of your app icon, your, your letters, that's the biggest size the the biggest size here is actually 960 dp you know is is on dp that's this one is 320 dp why the smallest is 320 that's it so the biggest so let's just tap on it see this is 320 dp so let's just put like 960 the 960 you see 960 let's press okay you see <laughs> this is now the smaller you see let's just go back to the background you see this is actually my this in my apps you see how small it is now this is how small it is let me tap to enter you see look at it look at it look at it look at it you see you can let me just try to enter one particular message and you see something uh, you see something uh, you see let me go to message yeah you see you see my messages is so small small so small like let me pick this one you see so small enjoy more talks this is empty and this thing so you see this is how you can customize it so please new to this channel you've not subscribed please do me this favor and subscribe yeah uh, that's the way of showing your support to this channel so that we will be able to bring you more content on so many things out there so many tricks and hacks yeah so maybe you want to change it back to the bigger size you just input three okay maybe you want this one to be bigger my yours input 100 but if you input 100 we we'll just get back to the normal size now you see it's now big again it's now big again it's now big again you see it's now big oh so this is it 320 is the biggest size and 960 is the smallest so this is how it goes so the next one we are going for is display cutout it is used to make a cutout on the screen corner corner constants double cutout that's it. we have a screen corner cutout double cutout tall cutout so you can do a cutout easily so let's tap on it let's do double cutout let me show you what it does let's just go back you see you see this is it you can see something like this here something like this this is it this is what i'm talking about so let's just go for this is corner let's also double cut out you see this is the cut out here cut out here let's just see we are going back we are going back yeah you see this cut out here 
apart from this one you see this cut out here yeah there's this one up there's this one down yeah uh, this is it so uh, let's just go back and then let me show you other ones so watch to the end as i will be showing you other important ones show view update yeah show view update it's this one is used it flashes views inside window when drawn also flashes on update side cutout tools so let's just turn it on and say uh you see let's just go back if i if i swipe it up you will see it's now flashing like this is amazing this is wow so this is it so you can do so many stuff with it so let me show you other stuff so you see i will just be i'll be leaving it but let me just turn it off so that it turns actually uh try to the light to be more the light to affect one's eye so you see other one is here show the one we are going to make use of now is a uh, show notification channel warning when turned on it's actually display on screen warning when an app posts a notification without your value so if you turn it on uh it's actually restricts some of the app from showing notification yeah display on screen warning when an app posts a notification without your valid without a valid channel yeah without a valid channel that's what it does so uh yeah. so the next one we are going to take off is this uh, icon yeah let me show you another one this icon this let me say this uh this ascent color what it does if you tap on it it actually makes the icon that you are using uh, it makes the standby app to change color let me say we are changing it to purple let me just show you one thing how this one operates uh, let me say we are making use of this uh, uh we are making use of adobe adobe acrobat oh let's just say we minimize okay uh, you see what it does is that i should just okay let me just take for instance this recorder the recorder it changes the color it's just that it might not change the color now because I already changed the color through this setting and it might not just function well so this is this is what this particular settings does so headline body font the headline body font what it does is the letter font changes that it beautifies not to street or source source from uh, the very body fonts here yeah. you see notos serif or source can so you can change the distance uh, uh, let me go what it does is it gives the headline that's the body phone is actually meant for or uh, the apps on your phone so let's you see this one this is icon shape what it does is it changes your icon like the shape let me this one is you can change to square but i put it at on teardrop so let me show you something you can see some of this my app like this message here you see it's just it's just like teardrop like you see the this thing here some of them will change like let me show you another you see this chrome you see how the shape is it's not square it's not circle it's just like tear teardrop so this is how to customize your phone and then so many customization here is it like you can customize it or uh, to change so many stuff here maybe okay let me show you for this bluetooth or uh, say maximum connected bluetooth audio 
for your audio bluetooth how many do you want it to connect you want five you want one so let me just leave it at five so this is how you can customize and do so many so you can change so let me just my three best uh important uh, settings here is these uh, show layers like these boundaries you are seeing here and also these uh, uh, smallest wind gates like the smallest the smallest width to change the app size to be small let's just go back again and i will show you uh, how what i'm the one i'm talking about so you can try it on your phone to see how the thing will work out it actually won't affect your phone in any ways if you don't want it you can just change it change wind gate uh put said 960 is the smallest see see this is it so this is how you can everything now change see everything now change it is partition so this is how it works so it's actually <laughs> it's actually amazing when i found out some of these that is it's on my phone without my own knowledge so if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment if there is any settings that you are not familiar with or you are finding difficult to do please try and comment on the comment section below so that i will be able to uh, see you through on how to go about it so thanks and have a nice day there are some other videos i made on how to get free data so many stores out there so i'll be posting some some other content please share to your friends and don't forget to subscribe